Rounding whole numbers might also be referred to as estimating or approximating. In order to do this, we want to work through the three steps that are presented here. Starting first with locating the desired place mentioned in the rounding instructions. So in this first example, round 231,975 to the nearest 10. We're going to look at that whole number, 231,975. We're going to start at the very end of that number, which is the ones place. And then we're going to move forward until we find the desired place. In front of the five, we have the seven, which is in the tens place, and we want to round to the nearest 10. So this is the desired place that we want. So let's underline that in blue. That is our desired place. Step number two says, consider the digit to the right, which means to the right of the seven, we have the five. The five is going to control whether we round the seven up or if we keep it the same. So we have the two parts to step two. Part A, if we have a five or higher, then the desired place is gonna be rounded up one. We have a five. So we are going to round the seven up to an eight. So in this example here, what we're going to have for our final answer, the numbers in front of our desired place, two, three, one, and nine, will all stay the same. We've just said that the seven is going to be rounded up to an eight. And then in our third step, replace all the digits to the right of the desired place. So to the right of the eight, want to replace all the digits with zeros. Well, the eight is now where the seven used to be. There's only one place to the right. Where the five used to be, we're going to replace that with a zero. So our final answer of 231,980. We can kind of make sure that our answer is in the right sort of ballpark. If we're going to round to the nearest 10, then the possibilities that we can end with would be to either say a, a full 100 or a 10, a 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, or 90. Reading this answer out, 231,980. Our answer ends with an 80. That would be an acceptable answer. So we're at least in the right ballpark. And that can give us a little bit of a helpful idea of what we've got going on. So let's look at a couple more examples where we follow these sorts of rounding steps and look next at rounding 231,975 to the nearest 10,000. So what we want to go looking for is the 10,000s place. Starting at the end, we have the ones place. In front of that, the tens place. In front of that, the thousands place. Yeah, right. Let's try that again. The ones place, tens place, hundreds place. There we go. Then in front of the comma, we have the thousands place. Now we're back on track. And in front of that, we have the ten thousands place. So the three is the desired place that we would want to locate. Step two says that we want to look at what is to the right of this. To the right of this, we have a one, which means that we would want to follow part B 
if we have a four or lower, yeah, that's, that's lower than a four, the desired place stays the same. So we can say something to the effect of keep the three the same. What that means for us, again, is that anything that was out at the front is going to also stay exactly the same as it originally was. Now, the very next spot that we hit, we're saying we're going to keep the three the same. So in our final answer, we're going to have the three showing up next. And then step three says replace all the digits to the right of the three with zeros. All right, to the right of the three, we had the thousands place, hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. So we've got to put in here four zeros to complete our answer. One, two, three, four. And if you want, you throw a little comma in there. Reading this out, we should read out something that refers to 10,000. Now it could be 100,000, but then after that, it could be a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90,000. We should not read anything else after that. We shouldn't have anything else that says anything about hundreds or 20s or whatever. So the last sort of thing that we need to read out should be relating to 100,000 even, or 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, et cetera. 230,000. That's what we've got. So again, we can be comfortable that we're in the right ballpark for our answer. Now, in the final example, again, just mixing things up in terms of the place names that are mentioned in these examples, we need to locate the hundreds place. The five is in the ones place, the seven is in the tens place, the nine is in the hundreds place. We now want to look at the number to the right of that. We have a seven. What this means for us is that we will be rounding the nine up. Now when we round it up by one, what that means is that we're going to be having something a little bit unusual here. We round it up by one, we're going to get a 10. But this 10 can't go where the nine was. So we have to do a little bit of something else here. We're going to have to have the one bump to the thousands place. while the zero part of the 10 is going to go in the hundreds place. All right, what does this all mean for us and our answer? Well, that one's a little bit trickier because we are taking with the pink bump to the thousands place. Now we've got to pay attention to the thousands place. We've had to bump that up. So this time the two and the three out at the front stay the same. The one no longer stays the same. It's getting bumped because of this chain reaction of rounding that has taken place. 
So the one in the thousands place is going to get bumped by that extra one. And it's going to become a two. The hundreds place is going to have that orange zero from the 10. So there's the hundreds place. Now we still have the other two places. And again, our final step says that the places at the end get filled in with zeros. So what we have going on here in this last example is a chain reaction of borrowing. And you think of it in terms of money, that might be helpful. So if we're counting things out, the 9 has been rounded up to a 10. So we're going 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. And then bumping that up one more means that I have laid out one last $100 bill. That's $1,000. Now I have 231,000 already. And that thousand, well, that means that I'm going to have to bump my thousands place. 231,000 and that thousand that we just counted out brings us to 232,000 even. So, can we make sure we're in the right ballpark? We're expecting an answer that has no worse than 100 as the last part that we read off, but we could have 1,000. We could have just 1,000 flat. We could have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. So, when we read off our answer 232,000, that fits ballpark with what we might expect based on our rounding directions.